In today's video, we are on day two of the five day Val Digi collab with Kara Brandon. We are using a page from Dear Julie Julie and a page from Kara to make beautiful items. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. And today I have day two of the Five Days Val Digi. Um, this is a collab with Kara Brandon and we are using her five day kit and my five day kit. We're using each of the days um, that have been selected. So this is these are the two that are selected as day two. This is Kara's. This is uh, Dear Julie Julie's. And we are to make a project using these two. So I have, these are cut on cardstock. So I have those here. And then I also have these um, where I've already cut all the pieces out. And these are out of copy paper because the first time I printed it, I printed it on copy paper. So what I have here, these are the cardstock pages that I cut out during the live video that Kara and I had on um, on Saturday, and I have put them all together with a paper clip so that I can use them. So these are all copy paper. Okay, so I have tags and cards. I have some ephemera and I have my little bag. So let me show you what I have here to use. So I have this large card. I have a page with a flip out and I will probably yeah, so this has, this is the page with a flip. This is the page with the peachy style pocket. Okay, I have this tag, a journaling card, and this card, and another journaling card. Um, I did pull out the V. And then this um, is a seven by seven square. Okay, so those are the pieces I used. I believe it was three 12 by 12 papers. And then we also have these two little pieces. So I, I cut those so that I would have them for this, um, this project. And so, um, I have yesterday's page, okay, so yesterday's copy paper page. So this was day one, and this is going to be a page in the journal, okay, so I am going to go ahead and we'll take the... So we have this here that I had cut out, and that is going to be able to be a page in, um, it'll be a pocket, okay? So we'll have that be a pocket right here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and glue around the three edges. And, well, I like it better in this direction, so I guess this is going to go on this page instead. <laughs> that happens. Okay. So that gives us this pocket and then this is going to be able to fit in there but I do need to cut it down a little. So we're going to go ahead and cut this down. Okay. 
and we'll cut a little bit from each side. Okay, so this is a file index card. And this can go ahead and go right in here. And we can go ahead and you can cut this down even smaller if we wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's going to be able to go just like that. Okay, so to start off with, I wanted to go ahead and build something on this. So I have... Um, I have a couple of pocket pieces here, and I think I want them to be a little bit bigger, and I have, I have this um, panel card. I want to keep the the top butterfly. The, you see this fits perfectly right inside here. I'm going to go ahead and mark that where I want to cut it. Okay, so go ahead and put this in where we want to cut it and cut. So we have that. You know what? I don't think this side, one of the sides is not straight. <laughs> the one we just cut. The one we just cut is not straight. So let's put it in here. Straighten it out. Okay, so there's that. And we have been using some of the spun silk to distress this time. The one thing you know that happens once you start distressing, you kind of, kind of gotta, kind of gotta do that. So go around this with the pink. We can leave it out so that we don't forget. Okay, so that that helped a little. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this one down. Okay, so I'm going to I'm decorating this file index card that's going to go into this pocket over here. Panel card. Okay, we've got spot because we were <laughs> you want to make sure that that's cleared out or you end up with like that right there which is okay because I actually like 
like that. Okay, so this is gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this down and um, make it into a pocket because I love pockets and I cannot lie. Okay, so just like that and across and up and that gives us a pocket on this first side of this file index card. Okay. Okay, now I want to add some items. And so what I'm gonna do is I have over here, I have taken some of the uh, the definition of love. It's actually pretty long. It goes here and here. I'm going to take loving because it's a small definition. This is out of my little tiny pocket dictionary. It's actually a fat little tiny pocket dictionary. And I've taken the pages that had Valentine on it and the page that had love and lovely and loving, they're all on the same page here. Okay, so that can go like that. Um, we have these little, the red that came from um, Kara's kit. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this onto this little red tag or label. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I've just taken my ripped definition and added it to that. Then I'm going to go ahead and add this lace onto here because right now I'm still, you guys, my fabric tech is still, um, it's still really thick. So, So there's added a little bit of lace onto this and I am going to go ahead and put this on here. I'm going to use the, the glue and glue down on the paper and since I'm going paper to paper this should have no problem um, going down. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of my um, Rapunzel hair thread. And I'm wrapping around four fingers. I'm wrapping around three fingers. Come back to the four. I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to kind of even it out and twist it. Okay. So little, give it a little twist. And then... I'm going to use some of my Basic double-sided tape. I get this at our local $1.49 store, so it's like a mom-and-pop um, dollar store is what it is. And I just have a sliver here, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it... It's double-sided tape. I'm going to put it on itself, and then I'm going to undo it and that gives me something that I can put underneath this and I'm going to put it on the right hand side and put that right there underneath the butterfly and we have collaged onto our pocket. 
Okay, go around one more time on our pocket. And so that is, that is that, and it is ready for a journaling card. And I think we'll use this one. Okay, so this is one of the pieces that are cut from the, um, from the paper pad. Remember I have a, or had, 163 paper pads that I am trying to use up. And so this is one that I'm going to use. Um, let's see, what can we add on top? We have, oh, I think Loretta would be really pretty. Okay, so this is the Loretta image, and um, I'm looking to see if I should pop her up on something. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to just go ahead and put her down on here. So are you enjoying this series? We have so many people playing along. If you check out in uh, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group or in Kara Brandon's Creations Facebook group, you can see the everybody's posting their projects. Um, also, I have the YouTube channels of those that are playing along as elves. Um, their YouTube channels are listed in the uh, description box of this video. We're gonna go ahead and just take an extra little, take that off the top. And let's come in and we uh, have, I found some lace, <laughs> some other lace. And it's a little bit bigger, so I kind of, I liked it because it was a little bigger. And so we have that. And then we also have our Dollar Tree lace that I'm using. Okay, so there's that. And then... Let's go ahead and, okay, so this, okay, I think we can go ahead and wait for a second, because I want to add something to the back of this so that we have writing writing space. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this is going to go right on here. And this is the leaf paper for like one of the small three ring binders. And this was this particular batch of paper was in my mom's uh, stuff. So it in her stash. And it has a little bit of color to it. Okay, and that way we actually turn this into a journaling card. Okay, so I'm just cutting around the edge here. Put this up there okay so there's that so now we do have that on the back and I think we'll go ahead and add some of the pink washi Give it a pretty okay. So there's that. Let's go ahead and oh, the I 
Okay, so if we wrap this around, it it's going to cover up quite a bit of this. But what we could do is, okay, so I'm going to glue this down on this side. Okay, so I'm going to put my glue on here. Okay, so I can glue this to the front. And then I can staple it and this will also be a, oh, you know what, let's just, We'll just make it a flip okay so you can write under there but that gives us a flip I like that I like that okay I think we had okay. this says with love it already has that Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, and so what we can do is we can add this like that okay but we are going to oh I knew it <laughs> I knew I would forget the newest brush here we go haven't marked this one yet. <laughs> I usually put washi tape around it that is that color so it'll be really easy to do here. We'll do that in just a second. Okay, there's that. And I have gold staples in my in my stapler. I got them at Staples. Okay, so there we go, and that can go right behind there, and I love, love it. Very, very simple. Um, I am going to put this, it, it, it's going to live inside this pocket, so let's see. So that's what you have there and um, yeah no, it's not it isn't ready yet <laughs> I need to remember to to work with it every day <laughs> to revive it okay so um, I'm going to go ahead and I will add some lace across here. Okay, but I'm going to have to do that. Um, yeah, 
that, that I think that will be really pretty and will help to finish that off. Okay, so there is that card. It's going to go inside there. And let's move on to our next item. And so next we have this pocket. And I think it is really, really cool. We want to clean this edge up. So I'm going to put this in. This is the other side of the panel card that we used. And I think that's much better. Okay, and we're going to put this down. Okay, and you saw me do one of my things. I, one of the things I like to do. Oh, I kind of like it on there. What if, if we back it on here and put it on there? Okay, I like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this. Okay, and we are going to open this pocket right here, or we're going to turn this into a pocket by opening this right here. So I'm cutting right along that edge, okay, like that. Okay, so when I go to put this on here, I'm going to glue across the top of that pocket or that edge. And then I'm going to, this time I'm going to glue all the way around the rest of the image and I'm going to put it right on top of the panel card. Okay, so bring it in, put it on top of the panel card. So that is, that is that. And we are going to go ahead and cut this edge of the panel card. clean. Okay. So this is just the back of a mouse pad and I use that <laughs> to help me so that I could cut. Okay. I want to make sure that this is open. Okay. And we are going to use cute little tag piece from Kara Brandon. Okay, let's go ahead and... Okay, now this time if I put this on... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and let this come all the way over to the edge on the right side. We'll have this around this side and this side. I'm going to make a pocket on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hold it here so I don't put glue here. Because I've done that before, you know, put glue where I was going to put my pocket. Okay, so there's that. And then I can move it over. Okay, because this opens up, I didn't want to put my pocket up here, but I can have a pocket over here on the right side. Okay, and then I can also have this little pocket right here. And I am going to go ahead and... I 
no, I don't need that one. I'll put it up here and save it. Okay, so I have the definition for love. And I'm going to put that down here. Again, just ripping around it, holding with my left hand, tearing with my right, because my left hand, my left, my thumb can help to guide. Okay. Okay, where is, go with this. And that's pretty, pretty pink right there. I mean, pretty white. So. Help that there. And then I'm gonna come and put some of this pink around the outside of these red roses so that it, it all kind of blends. And we'll go ahead and close this again. We're gonna glue this down. Okay, so that's right there. And then we have a sweet little tag. And I'm gonna to want to put something up on the top of it. So it is pretty small. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the lace and See if I can get a heart off of here. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We got our our little heart and I am gonna go ahead and use the, the stapler to put this on okay and then we're gonna go ahead and since we have this small area on the, the paper here, I'm going to go ahead and back this with the lined paper. It'll make it a little stronger and you'll actually have lines for your for journaling okay so we have that will go into our little pocket that we built. Now this is um, a card like that. Now I've got a couple things I want to do here. One is I want to go ahead and 
put a, a hole here so that you can tell that this is a pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, one inch hole punch in and just cut a little piece out. Okay, so now we've got that little tab thing going on there. This can go into the journal and be a place that we can I have another lined paper. Or you know what? We can use this one. is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and cut across the bottom. Put this down. Cut across the top. This is a paper pad that was sent to me from a subscriber. I am going to fold this in half and I'll be able to put that in there. I'm going to pull this all the way to this side. I am going to add, before I put this down, I'm going to add some uh, washi tape to the inside here. So it has um, split. So I have got it up to the split and now I'm gonna, I wrapped it around like that. This is just one way that I've found that I can go ahead and um, get it back, get it started again. Was to wrap it around like that. Cause it happens. Okay. So let's lay this down so I can get an idea of where I want this to start. Okay. and lay this in and we'll have journaling space and of course you can also make it so that you have pockets I put pockets everywhere even though I don't put anything in them because you know someday you might want a little spot to put something. Okay, so there, I've lined it up in the center. We've added journaling space to the inside of this little card here and for this one, I am going to go ahead and just add the pink. Okay, so there's that, there's that, and this will be able to be a page that we can put 
inside the journal. This would be a good place for this for a couple of reasons. One is you already have that really sturdy pocket and um, the other is is you can't really uh, write on this. I mean you could but but I'm going to save this. Okay. But there we have have that. Okay. So that is our two pockets. So let's go ahead and we've got other items here. Okay. So with this one, um, and you could back these on something, you know, more substantial. I'm, I'm happy with them being put onto this right here. It's not as bulky. Of course, cutting them out on cardstock would, would have been better, right? But I didn't. I didn't print them on cardstock the first batch. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to put this in. I can line it up to the edge. Put it down. And you'll notice that I mostly decorate towards the top of tags, and that's because usually the tags get put into a pocket or something, and you can't see the other side anyway. Let's go ahead and give this side some... You can also just go ahead and give it a a square. Okay, so there's that. Now we have the really um, oh, where did it go? We got Valentine over here. So here is our definition of Valentine. Kind of fun once you start using okay so there's there's that and okay I have this little gold um, envelope with this on it okay so I'm going to go ahead and I have that, I have Valentine, do we have another red label? We do. Okay, so I think putting, putting the Valentine definition on the red label. Putting it on here, um, I'm going to use the double-sided tape because that gold is pretty, pretty shiny glossy. Okay, put this on. It's 
double-sided tape, so put it down, pull it up, pull the side over that is hanging off the edge. Okay, do I want to put anything under it? I think I want to add some more Rapunzel hair. Where did it go? It's over here. I mean, I keep getting my hands stuck in it. I know it's over here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so fours and threes and a four and a cut and a turn. And I used to try and have these ready, and they came undone. And then they all stuck together. So I don't, I don't do that anymore where they're already ready. <laughs> okay. on there okay and then we'll put it on here That we could have had ready. Okay. Okay, so there's that. So then we have our little card here that is. Fondest love to thee. That sounds like something that you would have on a little valentine. Doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Go ahead and there we go. We have a little Valentine there. And we'll go ahead and go with bit of a topper here. I don't know if I'm going to get to use everything this time. <laughs> Let's 
bunch of stuff. some color up there. Oh, you know what I have? I have some Georgia eyelash trim. just put this on the top up here going for the less bulk idea using the staple instead of Okay, so we have our little Valentine here. We are back and we have, so we have that. If you're here at the premiere, I'm waving, hi. And say hello to Chip. Hi, Chip. <laughs> Whoops. I'm so glad you've joined us today. If this is your first Dear Julie Julie premiere, just know that we do this every day at 1030. We have a new video and we get to have a live chat. It is a pre-recorded video, but we do get that live chat. You can join us by hitting that live chat button. Come on over, say hello, introduce yourself, say hi to Chip. And um, also we have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. You're welcome to join us there. You can share your projects and we all can get to know each other better there as well. Don't forget that there is a free digital available to you while we are home, safer at home, in the file section of that Facebook group. Don't forget, we also have the Yaya Spring Days collage digital kit is now available in the Etsy shop for 50% off along with its companions. <laughs>
cardstock that I'm using because that'll help to bring that in in another place. So this is from the three pieces of cardstock that I cut out so that I would have items to use out of I think I ended up with seven we used up 21 pages of we used up more than that but at least 21 pages of cardstock out of a paper pad and came up with a recipe okay so there's that um, so I'm thinking I can go ahead and put this on here. go above the hearts in this heart lace down here because I want to see that element okay and then I'm going to put this on the back as a belly band but first we need to distress all of this Just soften out that white. And I'm using spun silk. Okay. So we're going to come to the back of this and put this across. We're going to leave that as it is. We're going to go ahead. Okay, so I have these hearts to use also. going to just give us another tag that we'll be able to use. Because I don't want to waste any. ticket and on this one I'm going to bring in this washi that we've been using 
right across the top of the hearts. It gives us a variety of color, but it's colors that we've been using all through this journal. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll just use the pink that we've been getting as we've distressed other things. Okay. Line it up. Back it. And cut around it. So we have one of these from the cardstock page and one from the copy paper page that I had already cut out. Okay, one more thing. I um, am going to put these in my pile of things that I can use because I think that we have uh, taken up enough time. <laughs> so we have some really fun items here. And I'm going to wait and see where I use these because um, depending on, you know, if they end up in something like this, I might want a different type of, of uh, thing holding them. Okay. Because I'm actually thinking that what we can do with this, we can do this real Go ahead and cut out this other tag. go right in there. <laughs> and yeah, you would, I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut that, that off. I'm going to flip this one up. Sometimes we just I change my mind. This is this is real. Okay, flip that up. 
Now I could cut that off and use it somewhere else. But I think it'll be kind of cool right here. Okay, so now we have this. And um, do we have any more? Remember, we have used this in a couple of places in the journal. We have used that washi. Their color pink. So we have this on this side and this on this side. We'll just put that right in there. Okay, so we end up with the two tags in here. Okay. Okay, so we still have to be able to use the 30 and the 79. We have our little tag here that we've put together. We still have a few more card, a few more pieces. Now we can use these on other days. And so I just keep those all together right up there. Okay, so we do have our fold out, flip out page, and we have this one. And I don't like it on either one of those. And I want it to be on this side. If it's going to be on this. Okay, and what this is going to be is, a, I really like this paper though, this cardstock that, it was double-sided, it was a die cuts with the view. I've had it for a long time and several of you also had this paper you mentioned. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put this in like that. We'll 
have our flip up open. Okay, that's that's good. That feels pretty good. Um, okay. thinking about putting a sideways belly band here because we have substantial substantial with this pocket um, that we can do that so well we'll come back and figure that out <laughs> sorry about that okay so what we built we used Kara's um, one of her cards here added the definition of love here and made a little pocket for the little tag that we made so that just goes right in there we have a pocket here okay and then we also made our large pocket here and you know what here's where we can do our okay so we have these are flinch cards that have the 2 and the 14 go ahead and attach them together right here okay so we'll attach them together then what if we put them on Doily. And then, of course, it should probably be a pocket or a tuck. Because <laughs> I love pockets and I cannot lie. Right, Chip? Chip just came in. We are expecting rain. Today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go down that far. Then I'm going to put this down here. And this piece can come across. Okay. Okay, so this is our double-sided tape. So we'll go ahead and pull it up. Sure we will. Okay, well that one we can. Yay. And come down here. Pull it up.
come over here, pull it up. Okay, there's our two, four, boom, boom. And there we go. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I like it. It's funny how <laughs> things start coming coming together and you're like, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. So another thing you can do is add washi tape or something to the edge of a page to help with the strength of the page. So um, I think we got everything into our little, our little dilly bobber here. Okay, I think this made it into a card will be really cute right there. Okay, and then um, some tag topper on that. Let's do that real quick. So, um, so again, this is our five days of Digi's. Kara and I each put together a kit, five page uh, Digi kit. You're welcome to join us. Um, you can post your projects, your the links to your projects in our Facebook groups. Um, just remember the elves are all, their YouTube channels are all uh, displayed in my description box down below. And you know what, I wonder if we can fold that a little just to make it something, make it different than the others. Um, yeah, so we have several people participating. The, the digitals are available in our Etsy shops, Dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon Creations. And um, there you go. Okay, okay. And so this is what I made for my day two. Um, I have, again, the card, the tag. We added the writing space here, the journaling space, and we added a couple of tags. You can go ahead and just add the heart in there. Okay, and then this one, added the little card there. Okay, so you can journaling, journal space, journal there. We added this. I will probably put the um, the cardstock one instead of the copy paper in these because I think it's kind of cool that you can just go ahead and just add the um, the little cards and possibly uh, make a a little stamp. So to make it actually look like a postcard, I think that that would be kind of fun. Okay, so here we just added this um, with the flinch cards that came in the day two and the avocado dyed. This is, these um, doilies are from the baking or the cake decorating section at Michael's. And then I had this little envelope with the card in it so I turned it into a valentine here and I added the definition to a valent to the word valentine on this label we backed this card with uh, some lined paper and added the lacy tag top there okay this is the large pocket with the valentine uh, or the letter V file index card here we have the Loretta image and another one of those doilies we have the lined paper and you can just flip that over and write on it and this is uh, the cardstock is the cardstock pages that I cut out in the live video here comes chip yep I know there's Chip. Hi, Chip. Okay. I'm sorry, but I gotta finish. Thank you. Okay. 
We have the definition of loving here with some lace and Kara's other card from day two. And you have room on the back to do whatever you want. Okay. We'll go ahead and put that in there. And so, and this was um, Kara's collage from day one. And I used my copy paper piece as a page for my journal. Because I'm actually going to make a journal out of the five days of Digi's. And um, so there you go. That is what I made today. What do I have left? I have the adorable little boy that says he wished, I wish I had a little wife to live with me alone, to mend my coat and darn my socks and sew my buttons on. Oh, sweetheart mine, do not decline, but come and be my valentine. So that one didn't make it in yet, but, but, he, but he will. We can put him right there for right now. Okay. So there we go. And um, again, our thing, our hashtag, five day Val Digi. Five day Val Digi. And so that we can find your projects as well. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye.